Hey, what's up, you guys? Piracy, and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to give you guys my thoughts and opinion on the Joker trailer that came out a few hours ago. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I feel like this is going to be one of the good DC movies out there, and I I rarely say this because I. Listen, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm a Marvel fan. I'm both a Marvel and a DC fan. So, yes, over the years I've been a little bit more stricter when it comes to um, DC stuff. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a website called OmniGeekEmpire.com in which I post my opinions and thoughts and reviews on basically anything geek related. So, over there I've been a little bit harsh when it comes to DC materials. But when it comes to this Joker trailer, it genuinely looks amazing, like it is phenomenal. Um, and his name, I believe, is Joaquin Phoenix. I honestly think his performance as the Joker might net him a Oscar. Personally, this is just my own personal opinion. I just think that he is really capturing capturing the essence, the essence, sorry, of the Joker. Now I know there's been many variations of the Joker in the past, and I'm not particularly, you know, knowledgeable when it comes to which Joker is which. I do believe that he's going for the, is it the Silver Age, hmm. yeah, because I know there's the psychopathic Joker, there's the, um, there's the Joker that, he's just a killer for the most part, he doesn't do any maniacal genius type, type of shit, and then obviously there is the, the, um, clown prince of crime, or is it prince clown of, something like that, you know what I mean. I know in the comics, like, when, um, when Batman discovered that, that there was three Jokers, those three Jokers were based on the different um, ages of comics. So the Golden Age, the Silver Age, and obviously whatever, the Modern Age. So I think he's going for the Silver Age Joker for the most part. But either way, like I don't know which Joker he's going for, but he, this he's really just doing an amazing job with this Joker. Like I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie. Like it is one of the movies from DC that I'm actually genuinely excited for. I was not excited for the Justice League. I was not excited for um what what else came out? <sighs> yeah I mean there was other stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Wonder Woman was amazing, but what else? Aquaman, I mean I didn't watch it but it looked alright, I think. This is the first one I'm actually yes. Because here's the thing, right? We're gonna watch a man go from honestly just generally trying to make people happy into he's gonna descend into fucking madness and i think it's the path that he takes like i think it's the journey of going from sane to fucking insane is going to be what's it's gonna be what makes this movie amazing and we can see how it's gonna be interesting because i can see how they're gonna try and make us feel bad for him and at the same time kind of sympathize but it's gonna be difficult to sympathize with a guy who's causing nothing but madness and chaos and just wants to watch the world burn yes you know where i got that from but no i, gen I genuinely think that this is gonna be a really good movie i'm just really excited like i'm really hyped up for this movie uh, october it's gonna be interesting it might be it might be the stepping stone for dc to finally get shit right i don't know dc has been on a hit miss hit miss as of late um should be interesting, should be interesting. Um, I, I got nothing else to say, like, I'm really hyped up. Hopefully, um, my hype isn't misguided. Because I actually have no reason to be hyped for this movie. That's the thing, that's why I'm really interested. Because I've never been a, you know, a fan of Joker, per se. Like, I, I do find him interesting when he goes up against Batman and he pushes Batman to the limit and makes Batman do things he would normally, he wouldn't, he wouldn't normally do. But aside from that, I never really thought of the Joker as anything but just that, a Joker. A madman just doing things for the sake of doing things. And there has been tales going around that the Joker, in the comics, the Joker knows that he's being watched by us, the humans, the, you know, the people. And he does all those things to keep himself entertained. And I guess once he re and I think there was a story point where he realizes that he's not a comic book character and he goes back to normal, but then he realizes that he was a comic book character and he goes mad again. Not too sure about that, but that's the only time I found him interesting. Aside from that, he's never really been my, any of my favorite characters at all. Like he's not even top twenty, to be honest. Really, I don't think so. So yeah, th just this movie looks amazing. Um, I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, it doesn't end up being. Bad. Like the trailer is just showing all the best parts, but I don't think it's the best parts that actually got me interested. It's just the concept, the idea of seeing this man descend into chaos 
And not only that, he's taking the world with him. He's grabbing the world and he's saying that if you're gonna turn me mad, I'm gonna make everyone else go mad. I'm gonna make everyone else go into madness, into chaos, into fucking, you know, I anarchy, whatever. Anyways, that's just my thoughts and opinion on the Joker trailer. Let me know what you guys think. Really hyped, really, really hyped for this movie, and I hope you guys are hyped as well. And if not, let me know in the comment section below. I'm Paris, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.